Going Linux Screencast number 3. Burning a Linux CD. Welcome to this Going Linux Screencast. I'm your host, Larry Bushy. In this screencast, we will be covering how to burn a Linux CD. The Going Linux screencast is one in a series of screencasts produced by the Going Linux team as part of the Going Linux podcast. In this episode, we will be discussing how to burn a Linux CD. We used three different computers three different operating systems, and three different CD burning software. We will begin with a ThinkPad T21 Notebook PC running the Windows 2000 operating system and using Adaptex Easy CD Creator 4 to burn the CD. Having already downloaded the ISO image file from the Ubuntu website, we now locate it on our hard drive in the My Downloads folder on the Windows 2000 computer. Open the Adaptech Easy CD Creator 4 software, which will allow us to burn that image onto a CD. Opening Easy CD Creator 4, we choose from the menu to burn a CD image. We locate the ISO type file, the file that ends in .iso. Ensure that we have a blank CD in the CD drive. And a recommendation is to reduce the recording speed, especially on older machines, to ensure that we have a high quality recording. Faster recording speeds results often in failed burning on older machines. So having made that selection, we click OK to begin the recording process. Once our recording has completed, We will close Easy CD Creator, insert the newly created CD into the CD-ROM drive to verify that the image has burned correctly onto the CD. In the Windows File Explorer, we notice that the CD drive appears in the list with Apparently, the files that we're looking for already burned onto them. And since Windows 2000 starts a CD automatically, we can see that the Ubuntu installer, known as Wubi, starts verifying that indeed we have burned the CD correctly. Now, let's take a look at our second scenario a ThinkPad T41 notebook computer running Ubuntu 8.10 Intrepid IBEX and using the Bracero disk burning software. Once again, we have already downloaded our ISO image from the Ubuntu website to our Linux desktop. Locating it on the desktop, We see it here. Inserting a blank CD, we notice that Linux offers to start the Bracero application automatically. So let's click OK. Unfortunately, Bracero begins 
assuming we want to create a data CD. So let's open a new project and choose Burn an Image. If we had started Bracero manually, we would have clicked the Burn Image button here to get to this dialog box. We choose the file on our desktop. That represents the image we have downloaded. Verifying that it shows up in the dialog box, we simply click Burn. Bracero begins the burning process by creating a checksum for the image to ensure that it is copied accurately and successfully. And the recording is beginning. Once this initialization process is completed, Bracero begins to record the track to the CD. We see now that the track is almost completed. Bracero fixes the image to the disk. And once that is completed, it will indicate that our recording has been successful. And we can then use the Ubuntu CD we have just created to install Ubuntu onto a computer. Now let's look at our third scenario, an HP G60 notebook computer running Ubuntu 9.04 and using the K3B CD and DVD creator software. Again, we have already downloaded our image from the Ubuntu website located here on our desktop, inserting a blank CD as before the Bracero application is the one that Ubuntu uses by default. Since this isn't what we want to use, we'll cancel this. And from the Applications menu, choose Sound and Video and K3B. K3B is a CD and DVD burning software that allows you to create a number of different projects, as does Bracero, from data CDs to DVDs to burning a CD image, which is what we want to select in this case. And once again, we will select our image from our desktop, our image file, and click OK. And once the checksum has been calculated, as you can see it doing here, we will ensure that we have an empty CD in the drive and click Start. K3B shows the progress in a number of places. Here on the main dialog box, you'll see the progress as well as the individual steps that are being completed. And as the writing of the image takes place, you'll notice in the title bar that there's a progress as well as a handy progress bar in the upper left hand corner. Now our image is about to be completed. It has now been burned successfully and we can close K3B and begin using our ISO image. For Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7 users, Windows has no native ISO burning support so you'll need to purchase third-party software such as Nero or EasyCD. If you have a CD burner on your computer, it most likely came with Nero or EasyCD. But if not, you can download Alex Feynman's free ISO recorder software at the URL indicated on your screen. This concludes our Going Linux screencast. Thanks for watching.